Throughout MWC, Mobile Networks has introduced several impressive products. So Mark, tell us more about the products that we've introduced this week. Yeah, thanks Gabby. Before we go there, like it's been a great week and you, you can see the energy on the booth. We've got a great team here and we've really enjoyed like meeting all of our customers, partners and suppliers from around the world. We got to show them the latest and greatest technology. We've got our new Habrock Massive MIMO platform, dual band, so it can accommodate two bands, therefore giving greater capacity in smaller form factors with lower energy consumption. We've got the new generation of Pandion multiband RIH products, which allows operators to reduce the number of boxes they have on the tower, whilst increasing capacity and reducing energy consumption at the same time. And we have the new millimeter wave small cell products, which will enable operators to deploy millimeter wave in a more simple way, faster at a lower cost. And that will unlock some new use cases like fixed wireless access, where they can really then benefit from the high capacity that we have in the network. All right, so we've talked a bit about products. Let's talk a bit about the role of software in 5G networks. Yeah, that's great. So, so we've introduced over the last years a lot of new capabilities to improve performance in the network. Faster downlink speeds, faster uplink speeds, lower latency. And we haven't stopped there. This, this year we introduced six carrier aggregation, which allows operators to take six different frequency bands with 5G standalone. And that gets then higher capacity for users in the network. We introduced this year more network slicing capabilities and as you would know, network slicing is key to unlocking enterprise use cases, so where we can assign dedicated slices for different use cases. And this can move the operator's business model to more of a on-demand business as opposed to pure subscription models that we have today. And then last but not least, we introduced a lot of new capabilities in the network for energy efficiency. We've got a lot of software capabilities now that combine with our products to reduce the amount of power consumption based on traffic loading. With the highlight being this year on the new Habrock Massive MIMO platform, we have de extreme deep sleep mode, which is what it sounds like. So you can put almost the whole radio to sleep and you have a small heartbeat or pulse to be able to wake up the radio as and when you need capacity and more traffic in the network. Wow, that is impressive. Um, speaking of impressive, so as technology continues to advance, how do you see 5G networks evolving from what we have today? Oh, first and foremost, we're now moving from so-called non-standalone networks, which were making LTE work much better, to standalone networks where we can leash the real benefits of 5G and the new use cases. So there's a lot more to come in this space over the coming years. But in parallel, we're starting to see a network architecture evolution. There's a lot of buzz around things like OpenRAN and CloudRAN, but we're really making it a reality. We've invested heavily in OpenRAN, integrating our products with third-party suppliers on the RF side. We've now integrated five different companies, which I think is more than most others have done. Indeed, some haven't done any so far, so it's a big step forwards. And then on CloudRAN, we're working with best-of-breed companies in the industry like HPE, like Dell, like Red Hat, to really enable the cloud transformation to impact on the RAN in the future as well. So lots of, lots of things to work on, lots of things to look forward to, and um, we're really excited about the future. Thank you, Mark. Well, you've heard it, very impressive, very exciting things that are happening here. If you want to learn more, visit us at Nokia.com.